Hey everybody, it's Bunny. I've been off of YouTube for like five days now. Did you miss me? So what have I been doing all weekend? Turning tacky little action figures into remarkable pieces of jewelry. Bet this little guy never thought he was gonna be on a ring. So I curled my hair a little bit at the ends today, a la Leanne says, because I have hair envy. Her hair is always curly and gorgeous and I don't really think I achieved the look though. I kind of look like a cracked out version of The Little Mermaid. So today I'm back with another video in regards to my back to school series and today is going to be about the emergency beauty makeup life survival kit. So I feel like this bag is good for girls of all ages that would be going to like middle school, junior high, or high school, or even college. Um, I generally keep this little guy in my car or if I'm going on road trips or something like that, I already have this pre-packed and ready to go. So okay, one thing that I didn't put in here, but if you're a girl, middle school age or older, you know that there's certain necessities that you need to bring or have on hand. Uh, but I'm not gonna show that in this video because I just feel like it's a bucket of awkward. I don't know why it's so awkward for me. Secretly, I'm a 12 year old boy. Yeah, so that's like the only thing that I really left out of this kit just because like, we don't wanna get gross on YouTube. Without further ado, why don't I just jump right on in here? What do I put in this bag? So first of all, of course, you're gonna need a medium size makeup baggy thingy, unless you wanna use a Ziploc bag or just carry it around in your hands. So the first thing in here is a Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo, a miniature little can. I never go more than five feet without dry shampoo. Um, normally in the miniature size, I buy a can of Batiste because that is the original dry shampoo. Probably my favorite brand, but when I was restocking on this bag a couple weeks ago, um, they actually didn't have miniature cans of Batiste at Sally Beauty Supply, so I went with Tresemme, which is all right. But this is great to have on hand at school because, you know, if you are studying or you lost sleep the night before, you have to be at school at eight in the morning, like, this is a great um, mask for oily hair. Um, it also works as like a volumizer. This is kind of my all around emergency hair product. Next thing in here is hand sanitizer. I got this one from Walmart. It's a heavy duty size and it smells like atomic apple and it has a little monster on the front. Pause up. The next product that I always have with me is a small bottle of hand lotion, um, especially in the fall and the winter. Like you don't want to be at school, you know, where the boys are <laughs> like holding hands with like some crusty dry claw palm. Uh, what would you, what would you call a nasty hand? I don't know but you don't want it. This little bottle of Hawaii coconut was actually sent to me by one of my subscribers, Useless ID, and I love this smell, why? Because it smells like Hawaii and coconuts. The next two items I'm gonna kind of show as a little set because I buy these little suckers at Walmart and they're 97 cents for two of them. One of them I put Advil in just because like I don't really leave the house without Advil because I'm always getting headaches or you know, just various aches and pains. And if there's one thing that I never do, it's take other people's medication. It's just kind of gross. I'm not taking your Advil. I don't know where it's been. And then the next little pill container I use for miscellaneous objects, mostly hair stuffs. Um, I have one little, uh, what, what does one call these things? Rubber band? Hair tie. Stretchy elastic for hair holding purposes. I don't know. I have one of these little dudes in there and I have some little miniature bobby pins for when my hair is really out of control. Um, you can get these miniature guys at Sally Beauty Supply. And then the other thing I keep in here is about five small safety pins um, for any fashion emergency clothing mishap. And they're just great because they just twist on, close up, and you know you're not going to lose any of your accoutrements. So the next item I keep in here may be frivolous seeming to some, but it is definitely something that I cannot live without. It is compressed, compressed sounds great. Is this compressed? Compressed canned Evian water spray. Ugh, mineral, natural. 
Ugh. Or the brew mister. I don't speak French. Okay. So I know that this may seem crazy to some people, but I definitely could not get through a school year without it. If I'm really tired in the morning, this refreshes me, wakes me up. It's like mist in the face. Because it doesn't matter like what circumstances this can. I guess the way they load the magical water from the mountains of France, it always feels cool to the touch and it always comes out of the can really really cool and so especially if you live in the south or somewhere where it's really hot and just nasty feeling all the time this definitely takes care of like oily skin or just anything nasty that's happening on your face you just spray some magical french water on it and it fixes all your problems the next item is definitely not frivolous and I don't recommend you leave your residence without it. And that is Neutrogena Rapid Clear Sore Pimple Gel. It is like this little blue gel in a tube. There were numerous times when I would be like, and I've got this pimple coming up. Um, this reduces redness, it takes away the soreness, and it also has salicylic acid in it, so it works for medicinal purposes and immediately starts healing, shrinking, and making the pimple disappear. This is definitely the best one, best what, what was that accent? The best one. Um, and I've tried a lot of them. And this is also pretty much the cheapest one. It's like seven, nine, eight dollars. The next item, of course, you don't want to leave the house without is a small travel size deodorant stick. If you're like me and your wardrobe consists of 99% black, um, you're definitely going to want to make sure it's an invisible solid so you don't walk around with like white residue under your armpits. Next thing that I highly recommend, no girl leave the house without, is a rollerball fragrance of your choice. This is my newest one. It is from Tokidoki. They just came out with these little guys. And they have all these giant faces on them. It's so great. But you know, it's just great to, if you are just done with PE or you're running around or once again, you're in the South and my fragrance only lasts like an hour and then I'm always having to reapply. Um, these are just great to just make you feel fresh or energized or just put you in a better mood. Or, you know, when the hot guy comes around, you can be like, I smell like Toki Doki. Okie dokie. Perfect. These are far less likely to break than a full-sized spray bottle of y'all favorite fragrance. The next thing that I definitely, definitely urge you to have, just in case, is the small box of makeout mints. Once again, you don't want to be caught after third period. Hot guy comes by your locker. You don't want to have onion breath. Um, so Altoids has a tiny, tiny little tin of magical tasting peppermints. Oh man, I just bit that Altoid. Mmm, not delightful. I don't even have anybody to make out with. The next thing you're gonna want to have on hand is a drugstore brand face powder. And why I recommend it be drugstore brand is, you know, mishaps can happen, stuff could fall on top of this in your locker. You don't wanna have like Yves Saint Laurent pressed powder in your little kit and then your $48 powders smashed. And the other great thing about most of the drugstore varieties of powder is that they come with a little brush inside the kit, which is great because once again, especially if you live in southern or hot climates, even with a makeup finishing spray, my makeup all the time is getting really shiny or oily around my nose or my T-section. And so I like to go to the powder room and reapply my face powder so I don't look like a giant oil bucket. Only two little items left. Uh, the other thing that I recommend you always have on hand is a good pair of tweezers. You don't want to take that bathroom break. So you've got like a eyebrow hair like going to Mars, Mars attacks, um, and you have no way to pluck it. So you just want to keep tweezers on hand for any kind of, you know, tweezer emergency. And then the last thing that you're going to want to keep on hand is lip balm. And that is, my hair is on this lip balm. I can just hear it now. Bunny has hairy lip balm. So this one I definitely love. It is Be Friendly Spearmint brand. It's organic. It's delightful. Um, but you definitely don't want to have like nasty crusty lips. So it's great to just be able to always have 
some lip balm. So I kind of try to like keep y'all prepared without going Titanic. I definitely geared my bag for you guys to be more beauty and health related instead of like just kind of all around just because I feel like young girls you're definitely gonna spaz out way worse about having like chop lips or stinky armpits then you're gonna be like my pen ran out of ink of course you always want to have like extra pens and pencils especially number two pencils so that's it i am in the process of filming my back to school lookbook for you guys um i was told to prepare for some tropical storm that never happened um so i've kind of just been chillin all weekend for no reason <laughs> so as usual please take a moment to subscribe comment down below especially if you think i left something out um i would love for you to type it down in the comments that way other viewers subscribers and general friends um can see you guys' suggestions and that would be great or if y'all are making an emergency back to school kit um feel free to video response it the more the merrier you can also like me on facebook if you want um i got over a thousand likes Likes this weekend I was so excited um so that is facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on Twitter I'm on there all the time and there I am pretty vacant I'll put it right down here and I will see you guys later bye mmm not gentle on the tongue <sighs> grand grand monocle Ooh, holy bats. I have a new face for us to try and make. I'm gonna meet the man of my dreams and that's the face I'm gonna make. I'm gonna be like, hi, wanna, wanna go out? Wanna go out with me? That was a definite dolphin sound. Dolphin sounds. And it's either $8 or 18 or something with the number eight. I don't know, I'm just graphic. It's just numbers. Protractor. Kind of forgot what a protractor is shouldn't say these things on YouTube. <laughs>